Alright guys, I'm gonna show you something. I'm outside uh, on my garden, coding and freezing a little bit, but I made some some cool stuff. Um, as you read, we are now communicating at a very fast speed, and let me show you how fast it is. I'm not sure how much um, Facebook is compressing, but now we're sending every five milliseconds, we're sending a message from the um, browser to the freaking uh, ESP module, which is lying somewhere here. You can't really see it. I'll open up the Arduino. We're sending 2001 data points, so messages. And uh, every five seconds, we're checking that number from the ESP. And you see that now we have zero messages sent. And if we just move here and connect to the, to the cool thingy dingy, we connect to the, we get a status OK that we are connected to the ESP module. And then we press the start sending button. And every five milliseconds we're sending. And every five seconds we're getting an update of how many packets have been received. So you can see that we have been sending so many. Now, uh, the connection is closed. And we are all good. And it freaking works. And we can do it again. We can connect again. And because this number is incrementing now, it will... Uh, we should see 4001 and so far I've been um, I've been testing and I don't see any data loss but we do have an issue when uh, you get to try to every time you the note MC receives a message and tries to send it back then we get it clogged uh, so we w but I did manage to find a balance and it's like if we send back every 10 milliseconds then we're actually quite okay, but we're losing some packets. So we could maybe send back data a little bit uh, less frequent. So yeah, that's kind of it. I'm excited to see if this can actually do some cool stuff. Guys, so, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna showcase something. So I've been working on this for what, three, four days now. And I have managed to put some code on this uh, ESP and write some JavaScript on my uh, computer that makes them uh, talk over Wi-Fi, my computer, and my ESP uh, through WebSockets. And then that makes it, uh, then the depending on the signal that I'm sending to the ESP, I'm getting a voltage on the motor. So that means the following thing, that now I can use a slider bar in my browser to control my computer motor. This is just a $10 cheap Chinese motor controller with a standard MTM uh, motor. And it's working very nicely. Because I'm, good I'm work. super freaking happy. I, I can't wait to develop more. All right. Control by browser. Let's see where I, can, uh, where I can get this. Yeah. Amazing stuff. This is cool. I think I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs>